to part 103 of the Lady Prince Hunter Baby Challenge. And in this episode, sorry, I wasn't prepared. Um, well, this is embarrassing. Uh, in this episode, we, we're going into labor here. We're going to give birth to another set of quadruplets. So that's good. Uh, the sooner we get this challenge over with, the better. Here we go. Um, quadruple the fun, okay? Koo, Enox, and Daffodil, and Bunny are born. Okay. Uh, Koo is a character from Brigadoom, one of the Brennan G's. Enox is a character from Wake the Dead. Daffodil is a character from Garden in Season 3. And Bunny, of course, you won't recognize Bunny from Seasons 3 and 4. And Season 3, she was a part of Game Town. She was totally into Kai. And then in Season 4, she was the First Lady and Mary to Reginald. So that's good. So that's who we got today. That's who we got born in this particular episode. And this is a full commentary episode, so. It's about time I update you on some news. I think sometime next week. It'll have to be in the beginning of next week or sometime next week. I plan on putting up some builds. I got a couple builds in store. One's like a... I did talk about... I was a uh, black and gold lex that I did uh, that I didn't record and glad I good thing I didn't because it can't look it, it looked funny okay it didn't look right so it didn't sit well with me at all so I redid it but this time I recorded it I downloaded some con- got some content and well I made a the right gold and black that I'm happy with. Okay. And it's a 40 by 30 lex. Remember at the end of December. Or sometime beginning of January. I built and posted. Uh, I've uploaded a video of me building a lex. And a 64 by 64 lot. <laughs> with the, I mean the lot was so big. I put the little lex in the back. I mean I could build a little, little lex in the back. And then the same size little X, but as a pool on the other side. And <laughs> now it's been now it's been over a year and a half. And boy, I got some renovations. I got a renovation video coming. I don't hardly do renovation videos. I don't normally go to go on a lot and renovate it. I'm not that good. But this is my first renovation. I'm renovating one of my old builds. So this is good. Now with the other with the other Lex is with the old Lex style. I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'm not gonna bother them. Like with the Christmas and Valentine's Lex, you know what? I'll just build another one. You know, with a new style. Pretty much. And I have no problem with that. Maybe there'll be new custom content by then I mean there might be some new Christmas custom content or new uh, Valentine's content for next year I don't know we'll find out and I get the build those I'm not into Halloween I mean I like Halloween but I'm not gonna build another Halloween like some not but the idea sounds fun but I'm not going to so what I'm gonna do is around Christmas, I'm going to build a Christmas themed Lex with a new Lex style. I don't know if I'm going to do it in a 50 by 40 or 40 by 30 Lex. I don't know. Because usually a lot of custom content has got to squeeze somewhere. The la- latest one I've done was the old, was the old Lex style. And it definitely looks green on the outside with a red roof. <laughs> I might do something different. <laughs> Maybe like a red legs with a green roof. <laughs> because with the... When I did um the last Halloween legs that I did, it was... Like, it was orange. It was... It was orange legs 
with a green roof. So when I built the Christmas lights, I didn't do the green roof again. I just did a green Lex with the red roof. Who knows what custom content is going to be available by Christmas when I build a new Christmas lights. So who knows? I, mean, I might do another Halloween. It, it depends on what mood I'm in, I guess. But right now, I just finished a golden black Lex. And I don't know when I'm going to upload that. It's just something to give you give you all a break between 100 Baby Challenge videos. Because that's all I got so far. is nothing but 100 Baby Challenge for the rest of the month. But I will put it up sometime. I mean next week. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I got a, our first renovation. It was the first... You know, my... In the first ever season, I did the 100 Baby Challenge with the, the two Zevs. The fourth generation Zev lived in this 64 by 64 Lex. And that's the one I'm renovating. And I've also used it again in later episodes of Bit Life Controls My Sins with Stanley Tweedle. That it did last year. So, I used that build twice. But I'm renovating it, okay? And let me tell you something so far. Looks way better. <laughs> I can't tell you how long I've worked on it so far. Let me see. Uh, 15, 30, 45 hours. I've worked on it for about an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> so far, and I'm not even halfway done. Some stuff I'm doing off screen it's already gonna be a long video as it is so some stuff i'm doing off screen but you get to see them in screenshots and what i'm gonna do since it's a reno i'm doing before shots and after shots okay see you'll see what's kind of different you know and i think i like it better and i'm using like the idea of using different packs for e for different rooms you know i kind of like that thought why is everything green? Is it me or did everything look green for a moment? I guess it's from my angle. I don't know. It's the lighting I have to deal with. It did look kind of green for a moment. None of my sims are aliens. I know that. Uh, speaking of which, I hope that there are uh, cheats for robots because... When, that's the kind of thing I like to see with MC Command Center. Some cheese for robots, because their needs go down really fast. And, like, when they have to be repaired and stuff. I would like for that to not go down really fast. Somehow fix that. I don't, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a way. Like, the key, like, every episode I'm having to, when I was filming, Filming episodes like this with 790, I kept having to, uh, like, off-screen, I kept having to shift-click on on 790 and have them to lock on mode of the decay. <laughs> that lasts, a, a, that doesn't last very long, and you know, everything will go back to the way it was. You know how in, in MC Command Center, with any regular sim, you can just go into settings... And have them lock all mo and, and have them sl and slow down motor decay. Why can't that work for the robots too? I mean, that would be great. I would like that very much. That's all I want <laughs> with the with with the servos. Anyways, I think I said in the last video I got. Um, what I was about to say. Rags to riches is ready to go. Okay, season two ranks the riches. Um, so that's awesome. I can't. And that was at that moment where, um, Kai, when I was do when I was creating my uh, sim for Rags the Riches, and first he came with uh, the leg screw, and Kai's outfit disappeared. <laughs> I, I was going through custom content because. I was getting stuck with this wallpaper, and I hated it. I totally hated the wallpaper. So I couldn't, I tried to find it to get rid of it, and try to get rid of old 
may maybe broken custom content. It had been deleting a lot of stuff. Uh, I ended up deleting some stuff that my Sims were wearing, including Kai's bringy looking outfit. I, the boots were still there, but the outfit wasn't. So I was like. <laughs> I better, I'm glad I had a backup of all my mods, because otherwise, I could, because I, I was going on Sims Resource and any other sim place you can get custom content in Sims, I could not find that outfit ever again. The outfit was gone, I couldn't find it. So what I did, and I get thinking, I backup, I says, I better find that outfit, because before I even played that Lady Kind Hunter Baby Challenge, She's gonna be naked. <laughs> so what I did, I had a backup. So I had a backup of all my mods on my desktop. So that was good. I had a backup folder. It was great. I think that's what's clogging up my computer too. <laughs> it goes by slow sometimes. You'll notice in the third gener in season three of the Male Heart Baby Challenge and the third generation, how slow it's la it's just lagging. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I got some stuff to delete. <laughs> I, I, I gotta delete that backup copy, to be honest. Because it's, it's just clogging up the works here on my computer, my memory. I mean, my, uh, my hard drive space. So, see, my hard drive space is only what? More in terabyte, but then I got an external that's like three or four gigabytes. I mean, three terabytes or something. So I moved stuff. No, it's like four terabytes my external drive. So I got to keep moving stuff over to my external drive. So the thing that worries me the most you never know when your hard drive is going to give up. <laughs> and I hope that's um, never. <laughs> Oh, hard drives last forever, but since Frank is a computer technician, I'm, he deals with a lot of broken hard drives, and you just never know. I don't want to strain my hard drive too much. I don't want it to fail while I'm doing Sims or something. That, that would suck. That's what I say. My progress. Wait. <laughs> uh, that wouldn't matter. I would need to save it to the gallery, like, as it is, but not share it. <laughs> but that's the way I would have to do it. Uh, oh, wait. Never mind. That wouldn't work either. <laughs> because your saves are on the hard drive. Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe I need to back up with my saves on my external drive. I don't know. I think that'd be smart. Because I don't want to play Sims and be in the middle of playing and all of a sudden <laughs> there goes all my progress. All videos I plan on uploading. That's stuff I just don't think about sometimes. And now I'm just thinking about it. Here it is like Almost 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm not tired at all. I'm loaded up on tea, which has caffeine in it. I mean, it's diet tea, so it means it has, uh, like, no sugar. It has a sweetener, but that's it. That diet green tea and blueberry. You know, they have a watermelon flavor. It's a really good, but... They don't have make it and diet. It's too bad though. Also, I made some um, pot roast. I've been for some pot roast. I don't know why. Some por some barbecue pork roast. So what I did, I made some pulled pork barbecue pulled pork for sandwiches. It's good. Add some chili cheese Fritos on top. And make it as a, as a sandwich. Oh my gosh. It's just like a party in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's good. I suggest it to Frank. He's like, nah, I think I'd just rather eat it plain. With an Allen sandwich just in a bowl. And then Zoe. I'm like, Zoe, you want to try my barbecue pork? Nah, I don't like pork. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> you sitting there, you don't tell me. I have three pounds worth of barbecue pork, and nobody's going to eat but me. Well, just make sure I got plenty of chili cheese Fritos because it's good with chili cheese Fritos. That crunch, oh, it's good. I, just, I keep telling Frank, it's good. My mom would even try it. Cause I told all about it. She said it sounds really good. And she's willing to give it a shot. And so does my niece Kimberly. She says she's willing to give it a shot. But Frank, he didn't want to even give it a try. He said, just take a bite. Just get a bite of it and put a Frito on top and try it. And let me tell you, it's good. He's like, no, I'm going to do that. Why? Don't knock it until you try it, dude. I had this thought, you know. I may have seen it in a recipe somewhere. I don't remember because sometimes my mom posts, shares recipes uh, from other pages on Facebook. And sometimes she does. And she may have done it in the past where she where there was a recipe of some uh, pot roast dinners. Uh, barbecue pork rolls with Frito. On a sandwich. It's good. I don't know where I've seen it. I may have seen it, but I don't remember. I mean, it's been a, it must have been a long time ago, and I'm just now thinking of it. I'm not going to say I, I'm the first one that came up with that idea. I may be, but I don't, I'm not really sure. I may have saw the recipe somewhere. Like a long time ago. Like a few years ago. And I'm just remembering it. Anyways, we're just working on skills here to pass the time. Like we always do. If you get tired of that, you can always fast forward it. You can always fast forward it. Okay. And the videos that I have just intro and outro with music in between. It's kind of like you're waiting and you hear your elevator music. <laughs> or you're in, the, or in some kind of a line and you, and, you, and you hear music in the background. And that's kind of what this is. I do intro, outro. Do we have time to sit there and do three commentaries, full commentaries a day? And what would I talk about? What would I freaking talk about? For three, I don't know. I don't know how I managed to do it in other episodes. I, in the beginning, when I was first doing commentary on gameplay, I don't know how I did it. I sometimes didn't talk, hardly talk at all. Like, I'd be playing or doing commentary, and sometimes I just don't say anything at all. Because I had nothing to say. Until something interesting happened in the game. So instead of all that, I just said, said the silence. Just do music. But when I did the hundred, the rags to riches with, with Isn't Part Prince's son, Alex... I was I had this idea to start doing intro outro and but it was silent in between. No, it was completely silent. You got stuff going on in the game you could hear. But that was it. Whatever the Sims were doing. And then when I was doing that, without the music in between, I get flagged for copyright because some of the music coming from the stereo was copied got flagged for copyright. Like you got to be freaking kidding me. So if I just replace it all with sin music, that's not copyright. Except for, there was a song from Sims 4 soundtrack called Milan. Which got fight for copyright or something else. That's not called Milan from Sims 4. It's called Last One Standing. By someone else. I, how is that? Dif how? How? This is for di do a check before they made that. I mean, we sure didn't sound like anything else. 
I mean, you should take some of that stuff up with Sims 4. If they think there's a copyright issue that something sounds a bit similar. That last one standing, the people who made that should take... If, so, if Sims 4 got something that sounds similar that they made, they should take it up with EA and not me. Like, like I'm supposed to be a mind reader or something. Now, in my, like in my Sims 4 builds, like my likes builds, if I get a flag for copyright on something, it's not totally a flag. It's not like a, a copyright notification. That don't bother me. Because the out, the int- some of the intros, like for season two and three, sometimes get flagged for copyright. But I don't care. That don't bother me. <laughs> but it, when it comes to Sims 4 music and one of my songs that say that's copyright and sound like something else, that's a problem. You accusing me of copywriting? What's wrong with you? You want proof? <laughs> I got proof. I ain't using anybody else's stuff in my as my non lex built. So for every other build I use after that, this have Milan in it. It has like it's the Sims Test Car forty four Breakfast and Beatrix. That's it, I use those over and over again. If y'all get tired now, I don't know what to tell you. Better than nothing. Unless you want to hear Lex music. You hear nothing but Lex music. <laughs> Through my, uh... But it's Sims 4. I use Sims 4 music. Mm-hmm. I'll save the Lex music for my, for my, build, for my Lex build. Mm. So, yeah, ask. When I'm ever going to stop building, sim- building Lex in Sims 4. It's like, mm, never. <laughs> Whatever. If I ever just get tired of it, which won't be for a while, it's like you have no idea what I'm like when I'm you know, I get obsessed. Okay, in high school, I used to get obsessed about people. As long as it is like with real people, I'm okay. If it's if I get obsessed with real people, then you should be concerned. But with Lex, or like when I got obsessed with Twisty and Clown, I'm not. I remember I used to get obsessed with this the clown like around 15 to 2016. Maybe a little bit in 2017. And then back now 2018 rolls around in 2019. And now it's Lex. Total Lex. It was late 2018 when I started getting back. When I was getting interested in Lex all over again. You know, like, in WinterCon, I think it was WinterCon 2018. I'm thinking, when did it start? 2019 is when I first did the like, Zeb and her baby challenge, right? I mean, it wasn't on YouTube that long. Maybe over a, year, a little bit over a year. But that's it. Anyways, we're getting close to the end of this series. There's two episodes left, so stay tuned for part 104, where we have the last few birthdays. Not that many birthday parties left, so stay tuned for part 104.